And this morning's Health Watch, an important advance in the battle against cancer. For the first time, scientists have been able to successfully target tumor cells by using cells from a leukemia patient's own immune system. And the hope is that this experimental gene therapy may help fight other forms of the disease in the future. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to explain. Great news. Yes. Good to yes. see you, Jen. Good morning, you guys. Doc, good to see you. This is a, a study that's been two decades in the making. Right. The big question everyone wants to know, how can a patient's own cells kill tumors? Well, first let's talk about why it's so significant. This is really the trend in cancer therapy personalized targeted therapy and leukemia is a type of blood cancer because we know that things like chemotherapy and radiation very effective in killing a tumor but they also do a lot of damage to the healthy tissue mm -hmm. so what University of Pennsylvania researchers have done in this case they've actually taken something called a T cell which is an, a naturally infection fighting cell it t kills things like bacteria out of the patients with leukemia genetically programmed and modified it to recognize that patient's own tumor put it back inside the patient where it then went on a seek and destroy mission and actually destroyed that patient's own leukemia or blood cancer. What's significant about this case, these things have been done before. This genetic modification, these cells have a special signal that allowed them to be more potent, multiply inside the patient, last longer, they're much more effective. How successful has it been then, Jen, and what are some of the risks involved here? Well, they did only three patients, and obviously you know as well as I do, Rebecca, in medicine, we like big numbers. They need mm -hmm. to study many more patients for a much longer period of time. But in those three patients, two are cancer-free one year after the procedure. Oh. One has had a partial response. An unbelievable fact, these patients, each of those cells that were put into the patient killed more than two pounds of tumor per patient. Wow. It was a significant result. With anything like this, there are risks involved. Side right. effects? What would those be? Big side effects with this, Chris. You can't destroy this much tumor without the patient feeling it in some way. So they really got something very similar to a very bad viral syndrome. They saw things like chills. They saw some nausea, some fever in some cases, some acute kidney injury or kidney failure, even some destruction of something called B cells in our blood, which are important in making antibodies to fight other infection. That's part of what they're going to be looking at in the future, how to modify the side effects and really follow that as long as they, they're also looking at good results. The study specifically looked at leukemia. Are there other cancers that this type of treatment could impact? Absolutely. We've reported it here at CBS with pancreatic cancer, with melanoma, with ovarian cancer. This is the wave of the future. We'll be hearing a lot more about it. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, we appreciate it.